Hey guys, my name is Bjergsen from Team Solo Mid. This is my basic champion's guide to Zillion Mid. Zillion is a pretty decent champion in solo queue, though the one thing I do recommend is having a duo queue that plays either top and play some kind of carry top like Fiora, Renekton, or play duo with an AD carry because you want someone that you can play off of, someone you can speed, someone you can ult to stay alive because Zillion doesn't carry by himself. He carries by supporting his teammates and having a duo queue that can help you carry and someone you can buff uh, is going to give you a lot higher chances of winning with a champion like Zillion. Zillion's landing is very matchup dependent and against some melee assassins like Cassidy and Fizz that can do consistent damage he does have a really hard time but Zillion can wave clean in most matchups just using his double bombs can kill pretty much the entire wave. Zillion the biggest thing you want to look for is hitting your item thresholds as fast as possible and looking to push up your lane and make plays elsewhere. Uh, it's really rare you can make any kind of play alone with Zillion. Uh, only really things you can do is fight 2v2 with your jungler against the mid and enemy jungler or look for a gank setup or look for roams. Zillion isn't one to just stomp his lane 1v1 so don't play for that. For Zillion in team fights, you just want to use your bombs to either get a big stun on someone or just using them as a zoning tool. It's pretty unlikely you're going to get some crazy stun on their backline carry unless they're out of position but just dropping them down to stop them from walking in a certain direction is really powerful. Obviously use your E to either speed up your teammate or slow down anyone diving your AD carry or your squishies and use your ultimate to revive mainly big targets like your bruiser, your top lane champion, or uh, your AD carry. Uh, remember, Zillion plays a lot more like a support that just has a bunch of AP than he plays like a mage that needs to kill people. The biggest hit for Zillion is just being able to do the double bomb by either lowering a creep early or at level 9 being able to just one shot the backline minions and getting a trade like that. It's really unexpected because people are often trying to dodge your bombs but not really paying attention to the minions next to them. And you can just throw your bomb on the minions and get the damage off that. Zillion runes, I go magic pen reds, HP scaling yellows, CDR scaling blues, and AP quints. Uh, they just give him everything he wants, especially CDR is an important stat on Zillion, so make sure you get that. For Zillion's masteries, I go 12, 18, 0. The only real difference between this and many other mages is that I go the intelligence for increased cooldown reduction in the cunning tree over the magic penetration. Uh, Zillion benefits more from some CGR than he does from doing a slight more damage than with his bombs. So um, definitely try to hit as much CGR on Zillion as possible because the more bombs, the more alts is what you really need. Zillion is more so like Lulu where he's more of a supportive mid laner and not really a carry. So focus on getting CDR to help out your teammates and do more damage and have more CC in team fights. Zillion's skill order is really straightforward. You just go Q at level 1, W at level 2 for the bomb reset. At level 3 you can go E if your jungler is looking to gank. If not, just go another level in Q for the extra damage and wave clear. After that you want to be maxing Q and a W into E and alt whenever you can. For Zillion's item build, uh, you want to start with Thorin's Ring. And you can either go into Tear of the Goddess or straight into Frost Queens. Um, there are two different builds. It's Tear, Frost Queens, and CDR Boots. Or... Frost Queens, Morello, or Athenes, and Sorcerer's Shoes. One gives you Sorcerer's Shoes and slightly more damage, but a slightly later power spike, and one gives you uh, just the earlier CDR and Frost Queens. Um, after those items, you want to just go Deathcap, uh, Ludens, Void, just go a ton of flat AP items that make your ult revive people to as much HP as possible. The more AP you have, the higher HP they have, and just the most important thing is being able to revive your AD carry to full HP. Just after your core on most mid laners, after a couple items, everything past that is situational and it depends on the game. So just learn to adapt, but just items like Deathcap, Void Staff, Ludens, Zonyas are generally the options you want to go for. Thanks for watching. This is Cillian Guide. Make sure to check out the rest of my guides and more content at lawclass.com.